TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded August 22nd, 2020, in the eastern panhandle of West Virginia. Thank you to the Berkeley County Sheriff, Curtis Keller, for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature two domestic situations, a business alarm, and a public disturbance. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm a deputy chronister. Been with Burke County Sheriff's Office for five years. I was a uh, school resource officer for two years at Hedgesville and then at Musselman this most re- recent year. Um, now I'm back out on the road due to uh, COVID and whatnot. Do you have a favorite part of the job? Mm. It's got to be the paperwork, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's that's a requirement for sure. I wouldn't say it's my favorite part. Um, I mean, it's it's nice to, to you know make arrests. I I like doing DUIs. I feel like it's a uh, definitely has an impact on, on my community, you know, that's why I decided to start doing this and feel like, you know, if I can get a drunk driver off of the road, I'm saving a family, you know, kids or even people walking down the street, you know, it makes me feel like that's that's an actual measurable difference I'm making um, where I'm where I'm actually working, which is which is nice. Um, also like working uh, in the schools, it's uh, it's nice to deal with with younger people who still have their whole lives ahead of them. Um, you know, try to offer them them some guidance and, and instruction, help them out. It's uh, completely different from what we're, what we're doing currently. It's a different, completely different type of policing. But it's nice, I did like that as well. How does that work when you work with the schools and the kids? Um, so, Schedule super nice. It's uh, Monday through Friday, um, day shift. So you're pretty much there anytime that uh, administration or or the children are. And um, you go there. You're responsible for keeping schools safe. Um, and then, of course, you know if there's any type of criminal violation in the actual school throughout the school day, or sometimes even after hours, some of that stuff will get brought back in the school. Um, if there's any type of, of like gun violent threats like that towards the school or any of the uh, like feeder schools, which are like elementary, middle school, stuff like that, you're responsible for dealing with all that. Um, making sure all the administration is informed, communicating with everybody, making sure that all the kids stay safe. Um, and then, you know, if kids, if kids get in any trouble, you're there to uh, deal with the criminal element of it and uh, try to work with them. So that way, hopefully, they they learn while they're still in school and while they're still juveniles to uh, make better life choices before they turn 18 and, and really ruin their lives. Um, which is which is nice to have that opportunity. But you know, sometimes things happen and there's not much you can do. You know, kids, just because you're juvenile, you're still held accountable. So. So is it kind of like the same as like being on patrol, but you get assigned to a, a particular school? Is that how? Um, pre- pretty much, yeah. So like last year I was at Musselman, so I dealt with Musselman and then all of the South Berkeley the feeder schools. So if any if any of the schools had a call, then then I was responsible for it. Um, but your your main responsibility is the high school. So. Um, you know, you have you have an office. Um, you walk around between class periods, yeah. stuff like that. You know, you can check perimeter doors, everything like that. Um, make sure everybody's being safe. Just kind of patrol around the actual school, um, especially during lunches and busy times like that. You know, just make sure everybody's being safe. But yeah, you, you report directly to school every day. Then uh, make sure all your paperwork is caught up and, and head home every day. It's just smaller area of, of, of patrolling, I would say. Anything stuff like that? 
to work with the schools, or whether is that something that all of the officers get a chance to do? It's gonna be a third party um, caller so advising. There's a male and female in the residence. The male is threatening to kill her. He'd like someone to check on her. Doesn't sound good. So we don't get sent to any any special type of training to be an SRO, stands for School Resource Officer. Um, it's it's kind of just past like when when I did my first year last year, um, I linked up with the current SROs there and kind of you know learned from them and, and learned all all the different codes and stuff that deal with the juveniles and the school process and stuff like that. Um, but to actually get to position, normally it's volunteer. It's a volunteer position. You know, if the stock comes open, you know they they'll, they'll put out a memo asking you know who who wants to go to the schools. Um, if not, then someone will get volunteered to do it for at least a year, um, and then it'll rotate out that way. So um, usually, usually there's position if you really want to do something. If you really want to be an SRO. Um, you normally won't have to wait too long until one of the slots open up to, to get your opportunity to. But but most of most of the units, you know, want to work the road. So sometimes it's it's actually pretty hard to find find people who want to go into the school slots. I liked it though. I I enjoyed it. It was definitely a uh, a completely different experience. I felt like I, I learned a lot a lot from it. Involved in any of this, or y'all just neighbors? I, I am. Okay, what's going I on? Um, the uh, the lady homeowner uh, attacked my bike. Um, we the lady that owns this place here. Yeah. Okay, attacked your wife. She attacked my wife. Oh, where do you live? Up. I live here. We live downstairs. Um, if you like, come in. I was just trying to really call and find somewhere because they have they just served that PO on my bike. I'm just trying to find a place okay. for us to go. That's you that's know, fine. If you want to keep doing that, man, I don't I don't want to I don't want to interrupt you. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what's what's going on. Um, yeah, it, it was a, it's an unfortunate situation, really, is what it is. Um, okay. Uh, we had to move out of our house abruptly because uh, the lease was terminated, and uh, we we relied on them as as we, we thought they were friends. Um, you were on this place? Yeah, I, okay. I coached their, their their two sons in youth wrestling for I don't know three or four years. Okay. And um, my wife and and and. And Laura, the, the lady who owns the house, are, are, are really good friends, and they got very very well acquainted. Um, they let us move in. You know, I've, I've done a ton of work here to try and get the place livable for us downstairs. And then, uh, I mean, all of a sudden, they just they they, they they kind of they kind of flipped the switch on us, and we don't really know why. Okay. But, uh, the officer, the state trooper today, he was here. He said that you know because the only uh, working bathroom that they have for showers is upstairs on the third floor. Um, we were just trying to get our stuff and clear out of there, you know. And yeah. uh, I, I, my wife was being cornered by the husband and the wife, Laura and Anthony. Where? And, uh, uh, upstairs, okay. uh, almost on the third floor. And um, it, it was over toilet paper that they came in and stole. So my little, you know, our, our three-year-old couldn't even go to the bathroom. Cool. Um, you know. All right. I got you. We'll keep making phone calls, see if you can find yourself transportation. Alright. So um essentially what that was, um from what I gathered in a short time there, uh there's two separate families living there. One family appears to be done with the other family. Um, they got the courts involved, an FPO was involved, and then today before that paperwork was served, there's some type of minor physical altercation between a couple of the residents there. But there's two guys there, they've got it under control. So we are going to head to a threat to call between a male and a female.
we can find a door. Right up here. Yeah. How did I get to you, man? You got a door or something? You. Who are you? Sheriff's office. Why you guys looking for me? Well, I'm looking for whoever lives here, man. I know these two different places. All right, you want to come out and talk to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One sec, I'm just throwing a shirt away. Hey man, how you doing? Good, how are you doing? Doing alright man. Uh, what's what's the numbers here at this house? To be honest, to be honest with you, sir, five plus three is sir, as far as I'm concerned. Or as that far as I know, I've been here since June 7th. Okay. As far as I know, it's five five three. Okay. Now, you got a female roommate here? I do not. Do you? I promise. I do not. One third number. I'm secure for now. I'm still trying to find this female. If you can, I can, um, I mean, I'm not gonna help you. I don't say, I don't know. I don't. I don't. Take a breath, brother. Calm down. I don't right. know any females. Who, really. who lives in this house? The red house. No, they ain't Steve Briggs. 10 9, sir. I got a big giant cream of water I'm, I'm at a house behind this red house. I'm trying to figure out, I couldn't find a door to the, to the numeric step, provider. I'm step down. <laughs> That's a red house. It's a red house. Go behind my cruiser and walk around the house. It's a red house. I'm, I'm up here on the other side of this car filled garage. So that's a members of the house. Um, who you said lives here? Sure. Right, is there a girl that stays there? Yes. All right. How do how do I get to that house? Where's the door to that house? <laughs> we got all the setup going on. Yeah, I see that. Got him back on the other side. Around in seven right there. We'll get his gates right there. But it ain't easy to get. Ours gate right here. There's a gate right here behind the shed. Behind the shed. There's a gate. When's the yeah, last you time you seen them? You gotta reach over. And you okay. go. Hey, you got your ID on your man? Are they okay? Well, that's what I'm here trying to figure out. 
I don't know yet. Thank you. Copy, Ew! Yeah, I just started renting. I, I literally almost my whole entire life though. He's a good friend of my father's and that's kind of why I'm renting on for him. Yeah. But I found the place on Craigslist and all honestly, I ain't know it. One third number. Be careful with Stream 27. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna go try and find them. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. Good luck, guys. Like you gotta take something wrong with I don't know, man. Calm down for a second, alright? I'll come back up and talk right, to you. Sorry, sorry. Should her call her from Florida to give you a suspect name? Alright, time for just attach it up to me. I wonder how you get back there. Copy 139. How you doing? Uh, all right. How are you? I can't complain, ma'am. You mind stepping out here? Is there anybody else in the house? Yes. It's, uh... All right. What's going on today? Um. You want to step out there and talk? Yep. Yeah, by all means, go ahead. Yeah. You want to talk to her? Yeah. Not good. You just step right on the other side of this. Not good. Yep. Not good. Not good at all. Yeah. Not good. Deputy Crossford, Brooke County Sheriff's Office. Uh, you just sit here for a second. Yeah, just, just oh, sit tight. It's dark out here, man. I'm not shining in your eyes. You feel me? Like, I, I can't see nothing. So. How's it going? I don't think you can The way she was acting, I had a bad feeling. Oh, Lord. She's outside. Hey, you, got, you got any firearms or anything in here, man? No, I mean, what? Do you have any firearms, any guns, pistols, rifles, anything like that? Oh, well, I've got a couple guns, but I'm going to have Okay. Are any of them within arm, arm's reach right now? Huh? I said, can you reach any of them right now? Do you have any pistols by you, like right here? In this area? All right. All right, man. I'm going to talk to her. I'll, just, I've got no. I'll, I'll talk to her for you. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so what's going on here? Alright, so what's going on here? Is Lori's ex a roommate? Yeah, yeah, well, it's my girlfriend. It's a girlfriend? She called everybody. I don't think she did. I don't think she called anybody either. Um, I think somebody else called her. I don't know if it was one of the neighbors or, or what the situation was. But we just had to come up here and, and talk to you guys and figure it out and make sure nothing, nothing too bad was going on here. Did you guys argue or anything like that? Well, we argue all the time. You guys argue all the time? When's the last time you guys argued? Was it maybe today? Oh, we argue every day. Every day? Every day. Every day. And I couldn't even, I, I couldn't even call. I got you. You don't have to explain yourself to me. Okay, I got you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. And I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm going to explain it to you, all right? Hey, hey, I'm here with you, all right? You're safe right now. Take a deep breath for me. I'm going to explain. I don't know, man. <laughs> It is what it is. We got to call out here. We got to do oh, the best game. Damn, I don't think she called you all. I don't think so either. I really don't. I don't think so. You think guys just, did you guys argue about trash or? Uh, we just argued. Nobody called law. Gotcha. 
as much she did. So I know I did. Did uh, my front editor the line went off and I can't what the lines off. I couldn't make a phone call. Anything physical happen today? I I gotta ask, man. That's one of those things. Uh, hell no. No, alright, that's good. Hell no. Gotcha. Nobody like. She will eat. Gotcha. Well, it happens. I don't. We still gotta figure out the situation. As soon as I figure out, I don't know. Get out of here as long as nothing. Nothing don't have to do with that. Okay. I don't think she called. Does that sound good? Say it again. As soon as we figure out the situation, make sure nothing illegal is going on, we'll get out of here, okay? Does that sound good? That's just, we still got to investigate it and make sure nothing's going on, okay? No, oh, I get you. I don't think she called y'all. Uh, I don't think so either, man. I know I didn't call y'all. I don't think she called y'all. You guys just hanging out today or what? Do you have your ID on you or is it inside? Oh, it's inside. Okay. All right, hang out right here, okay? Yeah, you have a valid driver's license? Absolutely. Is it a street legal vehicle? I think the inspection stickers did. Are the tags good? Yes. The tags come back to that vehicle? Absolutely. You know where your keys are? Yes. All right, let's go get them. You can take your vehicle. I'll follow you. I'll follow you to the courthouse. All right. All right. Yep. Don't look at them. Don't talk to them. I know. Well, let's make this happen because I'm getting tore up by mosquitoes. I know. Yeah, let's make this happen. <laughs> There's a lot of... Hey, come here a second. Come back here. You been drinking? One forty nine A little bit. Yeah. Too much really? to drive? No. You don't think so? No. Okay. Well just no. to be safe, I'm gonna breathalyze you. Let's go ahead and get your stuff, okay? okay? I just need to make sure you're good to drive. Let's okay, go get your stuff. Oh my goodness, he's in there yelling. Okay. I know, I know. You said don't talk to him. Correct. Okay. Let's make this happen. All right. Alright. Get a garbage bag and start everything in the bag, alright? We'll just get moving. Lori, we in trouble. <laughs> Alright, so um, I gotta go in the bedroom. If you want, yeah. yeah phone it. Hey, you mind if my partner comes in here? I don't mind. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you can jump in here. We're getting back to trunk full coverage. Yeah. Just a moment, but right now, it's just what are we like? I don't know. Okay. Where are things going? We, we got to make this quick. Let's I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Well, I'll do it the best I can. You're good, man. Well, this is good. Anything like that, you're good. I wish my wife oh. was laying on there. I was just showing you my knee. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I came back from my parents' house. I'm going to tell you, yeah. and I had my wallet because he come down my hand in the house. I don't know. It's probably only one of these. My Because I don't want to. Good, man. Tell us to get a hold of my. Uh, Can I ask you something? Sure, what's up, mate? Why are you here? I already told you, we got a call up here, we got to investigate it. We got a call for a fight. A fight? <laughs> Is that all you need? Is that all the clothes you need? That's all the clothes I need. Domestic. Credit card, keys, phone. That's out, oh, that's out there. Okay. My, um, if I'm going to go, this is like my hair to stop. I don't want like that. It, it, this can't okay, stay. Throw that in your back quick, man. This can't stay here. Because you'll take it. You know what? I'm not sure either, man. I don't know if it's a neighbor or somebody else. I'm trying. I'm trying to get garbage back somewhere. Not hers, man. Yeah, it's in the. Like I said, I don't know. Yeah, let's grab that. Let's try to speed this up. We'll start in the bags. We'll get All right. moving. I'll, 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 I'll get um I'll get the bag. Alright. Okay. Hmm. 
Mm. Uh, oh, eight. Eighteen years. Eighteen years. Mm. I guess this one is called you got. I mean, I don't know if it's one of those. I don't know if it's one of those. I know it ain't her, Kara. I know it's not. I just got to get out of here. We all know what we're going to can I take Can I take the cigarettes too? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Don't just pick it up. We got we got to get moving. I know. I know. All right. Oh, I'm going to take the cigarettes. This is all of my mom and dad's stuff that they have. They have this on all for I don't know. Oh, yeah, and I gotta get the safe and get my credit cards. What? You saying Grant called him? Where's that? Where's that at? I guarantee it's, it, it's, it's in the other room. room. Yeah, I guarantee it's in the other room. I guarantee it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Uh, who would pull that out? Just died. That's too good. Yeah. You said you had it for 16 years? And I don't have my glasses, so I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. for 16 years. That's too bad, man. I had a new peer friend. Peer friend boy. Uh, Galveston, potentially four to six feet for us here as well. So let's follow that track. All right. Watch this thing coming to the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, yeah. It'll quickly ramp up. It could oh, even be by tomorrow night be a hurricane, but we right. guess to strengthen all the way to a landfall as a strong category like to like potentially a landfall. Uh, Mike didn't call the cops. Devin didn't call the cops. I know, I've got more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, free and free and clear. I just, yeah, my wallet was missing. Yeah, I had, yeah, tied. And, and he's a little boy in here when he went to bury my cat. Now my wallet's missing. I don't I don't, have a, I don't have a clue where, I don't know if I hit it. I don't know. You don't know if you hit it or lost like it or what the situation is? Uh, that's not good. Yes, it's about I know exactly what you got. Uh, How in the hell is some f***ing piece of shit that's wrecked my house? What, what, call the cops on me? Yeah, I don't know. Just sitting yeah. down here watching TV. Um, I don't think I'm anything else out of it. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, I know is my wallet. And then you're going to let me take it. That's all my idea. Yes, it is. Are they searching your name? Oh, my wallet. Oh, yes. Actually, yes. That's my name. Lori Stanley. Lori Stanley. Yeah, that's my first name. Lori Stanley. 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 Lori
Yeah. Come on. My phone and car chargers in here and So so right now we have everything you need, right? Uh yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Oh gosh. This is <laughs> I don't even know where I'm supposed to go here. Oh, oh I thought he was... Okay. Okay. Oh. Gosh. You good? Yep. All right. Yep, I'm good. <laughs> Sit that stuff down quick. All right. Take a deep breath for me. All right. Deep, deep breath in. Yep. And blow hard and steady. Blow. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. What in the f*** does that even mean? Literally never seen that. Never seen that code either. All right, take a deep breath, ma'am. What is it? Mean? No, it, it was like an error you're message. Good. I've never yeah. seen it before. Take a deep okay. breath in. In and then out. Yep. Okay. Yep. Take a deep breath in. Do it now. Take a deep breath in now. All right. And blow. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Do you have one? Yeah. Can you grab it? So like above and beyond? No, this. Does that mean it's too high to even Can you grab your for me, bro? I wouldn't imagine so. Dude. There's gotta be some kind of error with that. Which car is this? PT Cruiser? Uh, I don't know. Well, which one are you trying to take? The PT Cruiser. Okay. That's one I'm trying to take. But both of them are in my name. Thanks, sir. Yep. Good. Good. Take a deep breath. Same thing? Yep. Okay. Deep breath? Yep. And blow. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Yeah, we got a lot of bugs out here. Yep. Okay. So. No. Actually. Um, so, you can't drive. Okay. All right, you're not even close. All right, you're a little point three three four. Okay. All right, which is like triple legal limit. Well, I so, told you I'd been drinking. Yeah, no. I did tell you listen, that. Listen, you're fine. I'm not trying to get you in trouble for that. Well. So so right now, what we can do is I can give you a ride. Okay. All right. Do you want a ride to the woman's shelter or a hotel? Well, I'm going to have to have a ride to a motel somewhere. I just don't know how they are. I'm going to leave my car. 
What's that? Hey! I'm not. These mosquitoes. <laughs> oh, I know they are. All right. Um, I just don't know how I'm gonna get back up here and get my car. Where's your family at? They're in Florida. They're in Florida? <laughs> yeah. Well, I have no are, family are up they? here. That's who called you all. I, I know. All right, are they coming up to get you? No. I'm gonna be uh, doing a, a getting a reservation tomorrow. Okay. To so then, fly down there. And okay. Stay. So, so then, what you can do is so. If you have your keys, yeah. take tonight, rest, put your mind, sober up. Tomorrow, all right. Call the taxi. Mm -hmm. How do you get a ride up here? All right, they'll give you a ride up here, you get your car, and then you can go to whatever airport, whatever you gotta do after that. All right? Yeah. Okay, is that what well, you Well, I yourself usually to? fly out of Hager's. Well, then that'll, that'll work out fine. You can yeah. call a taxi, they'll come up here, you get your I car. Fly out of you can take Allegiant. all this. You can take all the stuff in the taxi with you. Okay? So that way, when the taxi drops you off, you can throw all of this in your car, and yeah, then you can go right to Hager's. This is gonna be here tomorrow with him being here. Because you have the keys. Oh, I have the keys, but he's got a key. Okay. He has the key to the PT Cruiser. He has the key to the tracker, and both of these cars are in my name. Okay. So I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do here. Okay. Well, I mean, there, there's really not a whole lot you can't do. Okay, because you can't drive. All right, if the vehicle's not here. Oh, I wouldn't. I, would, if, if you I come, wouldn't want to drive. If, if you come back tomorrow, the vehicle's not here, sure. then that might be a situation you have to deal with yeah. when you go to court for all of this. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That way if you take your car or something like that, then you can report it stolen and you can deal with all that while when you're safe. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So let's grab your stuff and right. load it in my car. Oh, you've got to go back in and get the rest of my cigarettes though, please. No. No. No, ma'am. That's all right. Okay. I got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll figure out uh, some place to get a hotel room near the. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yes, I was actually just coming back to ask that. <laughs> uh -huh. I was going to say, you asked me for it earlier, but why not? Yep. There we go. One three number, big three for one three twenty seven. Trust one three nine guys. F five six zero two two five three F six zero two. Two five three twenty nine seven five attached, please. Okay, here's that. All right, yeah. go ahead and grab a seat. Perfect. You can throw on your seatbelt for me. We'll right. Where are we going? Traffic accident. Wherever you tell me to go. Yeah. No. Yeah. What was it like? E, e two two three something. Yeah. Jesus. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, I got you. I would probably get that check back because that's not, that's no bueno. Yeah, no, I'll turn in Burns. Yeah. Um, You're talking about the PBT? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's just as intoxicated as she is, if yeah. not worse. Yeah, I, I would say worse. Yeah, I, I would agree. I would agree with that. You good? Yep. Right. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is sketchy back here. Oh my goodness. You are correct. Got lit up by those things. Right. Head for the small truck dealership. I'm trying to relocate in there. As you saw, that was it was a domestic situation, an ongoing domestic situation. Um, there wasn't any current criminal violation, so there wasn't anything I could arrest him or her on. 
Um, she advised that she wanted to leave. So, as you saw, we got her belongings. Um, she wanted to drive, but she wasn't in a safe condition to do so. so that's why we gave her a ride here. One fifty-two, go ahead. And uh, she'll, she'll be safe here tonight. She's been given our contact information if she needs anything else from us. Um, so she'll be safe here tonight. She'll go to the courthouse tomorrow, hopefully. It's going to be file for a protection order against him. So that way, if there's any future run-ins with him, we'll we'll have a foot to stand on. Um, to the actual courts. That gives us a little bit more leeway, um, like no contact order. So that way, if he violates that, actually gives us a little bit to work with to, to help keep her safe. Because as it stands right now, this is pretty much all I can do is take her from there because um, there's no there's no criminal offense. But with that, with the FPO paperwork, that gives us a little bit more to, to work with um, to help out in, in domestic situations and, and keep keep the victims of domestic violence a little bit safer. 128, 129, I'm not seeing so anything. She's safe and we're good to go. We're available again. Hey, hold on, all right? For well, what? Let me talk to you. I'm trying to figure out what the f*** is. Yeah, leave the f***. Yeah, I'm not f***ing with you. Yeah, I'm not f***ing with you. Yeah, I'm not f***ing with you.
Tell him I have to get the back. Hey, he showed you a beautiful look. Why, why, why am I getting the back? So you're being detained. I understand. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. All right, grab a seat, man. Last I got you. 139 number. Grab that one, thing. All right, all right. So this is Bob. He pulled up. We out chilling at. That lady in the oil, she's too drunk to talk to you. Okay. Right? All right. He pulled up at her house where we was gathering. In what he, car? In a Honda. Where they that did. At? They left them. There was two females. Okay. They got their right. ass would been left, right? All right. Then he wanted proceeded to fight us. Keep on one scene. I'm not I'm not no bitch. Cause no, you no, pulled up, I'm still with it. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, I got you. But yo, fuck him, yo. Okay. I'ma get you, hey, bro. Hey, I'ma get you, hey, bro. Hey, watch yourself on the threats, all right, while yeah. I'm here. All right. What, why is he here? He pulled up for because, no prime listen, reason. Listen, no, 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 he, he no, has no, a no, 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 no. I'm explaining you just want to know. Okay. He has a car. Okay, okay before, before we get into all that, all right, be, was, be, there, was there anybody else here? They said something about a bat. Yeah, they did, they did. He had a stick. He came here with a stick hey, and he had the girls. Sir? I was looking uh, sheriff, for I'm stick. talking to you only. Okay. Oh See, I talk to you other sheriff. Okay. I'm not talking to Sid. That's what's up. All right, so tell me what's going on. Okay. So, so go ahead, finish that. He has a car that's in my name. Yeah. Okay. I asked him to bring me the keys to that car. Yeah. He told me no, he's not bringing me the keys, and he's coming up to this house to fight everybody that's there. This guy. Yes. Okay. He can, he pulls up at the end of the driveway with a stick and two other females. Now the two other females got their ass beat and they yeah, left him. They left him. I need one. So okay. it is what it is. I just want the keys to my car. That's how all of this came um, out. He, he, he's a, he's a person right that always wants to sell you everything by fighting. I don't, yeah. I'm not a fight. I'm from PG County. I don't, if you step to me, I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, I That's got how you. it goes. Okay, so all I want is the key. Why, why is he have your keys though? What, what's, because what's, what's they used to go together. The, right. Okay. Me and him used to date. I, okay. I took out a loan to get him a car. Yeah, yeah. He got the keys. He didn't come with the keys. He came with two other females and a stick. Okay. So is, is it, is it, no, they did throw this down. Is the key man. for the cars, is that car here still? No. not here. So that's the car they were driving? No. The car is in Branson. Oh. And the okay. car is, is so not. Do you have the keys on driving. him or not? He says he doesn't have them. Okay. I just want my keys to my car. All right. That's all I want. I'm worried about people being behind me, brother. Oh, sorry. You're good. I'm just asking. I'm going to fight that. You're boy. good. All right, just hang out here for a second, all right? All right. I roll up. This dude, I have detained. Uh, this guy, they, they were verbally into it. Um, I separated them. He's, he's calming down now. He's in back of my car. Apparently, all of this is over a vehicle that's parked in Ransom somewhere. Um, they said there was no baseball bat. They, they said there was no baseball bat. This guy had a stick. He was fighting people with him. Him with a stick? I don't know. You, you know what I know so far. He, he pulled up at their house, right? He pulled up at somebody else's house. Him in the car, right? I I tried to defuse the situation before they even got here. As the guy the in my car. Oh, so, exactly what do you have? What's that? Exactly what do you have? So, I rolled up. This guy was walking away from this guy. I don't know if they had already fought or about to fight or whatever. Um, so I grabbed him, detained him, because they were, they were about to fight or whatever. That's all I got so far. That's all I know. See, see any type of okay. No, no. He's not under arrest or anything. I just because there was like all these people out here. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't have him on anything. I just wanted to secure him because I know he was involved. We heard something about a bat. Yeah. No, I saw no bat. I asked him about the bat. They said that it was a stick. He's dumbass people with that. Is he on passenger or driver's side? This is a driver's side. He said he bring four. He, he said he got four m in his car. You feel me? You need my name, John Francis Curl the third. That's my name. You ain't got your ID on you, man? Yeah, I got it. That's my name, John Curl. Can I get your ID? Why? Like, that makes it easier for me. How? Oh. Because I, you all got I gotta a number do, on it. All I gotta do is read off the number, bro. It makes it and easier for me, man. And then it gives us a printout. <laughs> Don't Please, take it. You weren't so, you weren't so cooperative from, with me that one day. At least you can be cooperative with me. All right, thank you. Thank yeah, you, just, John just, Francis, girl. Man, you know what's up? Don't take his to jail, yo. Take his.
Who's he fighting? He was wanting to fight Cam. Had her son. He wanted to fight him. The dude, the dude right there. No, that's that's how that's how I was saying. He already in the house. Okay. I but we defused the situation. He he wanted to fight. He wanted to fight, and then he put down a stick, and I said, "Go get the stick." My first mind, he put down a stick. Go get the stick. He can't have his weapon. That stick, that? Huh? Is that still here? We threw that. We threw that. So he can't get it no more. Cause I was going to use my my. Where, where did all this happen at? It all happened on hot on hot property. Where, where's that at? That's all the way down. That's all the way down. Oh, and make it left, make it right. All right, so y'all walked all the yeah, way up Yeah, we there. walked all the way up and just walked his ass off the property. All right. What's up? You, you, you got, you got, you got. No, man, Dylan cool, though. I know. Me and him cool. Listen, man, listen, like listen, I told listen, him, listen, I tried to defuse you, the situation hey, for the pop dog. If you say keep getting get amped up, you make, you're making all the I'm service. Sorry. I'm sorry. We don't know if you're going to go no, I, 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 I know. I know. That, that, I don't work dumb with you. in my mouth. But right? when you yell, you feel me? It all right, listen, situation amped up, Because all right? it makes me mad. If you be grown, right, I got his number, right? I called him. He asked, he's like, this fat John? I'm like, yes, yo. I said, what is the problem? He said, they, they having beef, right? I said, okay, we both, man, both from Baltimore City. We know how beef is good. You feel me? It get nasty. But this really, really, it's just like calling me a bitch. If, you, if, if this officer, right, sworn in the office, told me not to do something and I go do it, who, who dumbness is that? My dumbness, right? Right, I'm supposed to listen, right? No, not that cat. Not that cat. He ready to go to jail. He know he on paper. Watch so, man. Do that They're good with you. Let me tell you this stuff, all right? He still got it. We ain't gonna leave. I ain't got no wounds. You can run that out. You got it. Whatever you want to get out of You got anything? I ain't got no wounds. Who is he? Mark the text of the call. Who'd you gonna fight with? Um, India. I, I didn't know about but the beef was with that region. The beef was with that skinny guy right there with those shirts. That's one problem I have. I'd be really jumping to fight with one of them but they don't try to jump. Alright. Where's the mind? They're just going to wait for it right over there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what are so, the fight over her car. She, she pulled the car. What's that guy's name? My name is my car. I bought it. Ain't no bad. So there was no bad. Yeah. I mean, if it was in the city, he came here just to start a bunch of Correct. ruckus, so yeah. he would just go. But Do you want us to go check out Blue Sedan? I mean, I, I've got nothing. I didn't observe yeah. anything. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut him loose. If his, if his Where's voice he live? Apparently. I, I don't know. Apparently his, his voice is left. Go. Well, yeah, the, girl, the car with the girls left. So his ride, his ride is probably gonna be that blue one down at the end of the block. Okay. That's it. 
Because yeah, the girl dropped him off. No, no, no. Who you got? You got John's ID? Yeah. He's looking for it. Where's he from? I don't have to worry about him fighting again. <laughs> you know those people in the blue car down there? They gonna give you right out of here? Yeah, blue. That blue sedan down there. <laughs> wow, that's how this happens down here. That's how what happens? Nah, man, I'm sorry, I should open my mouth. I apologize. I don't mean to be disrespectful. Can I just wave at your camera? This is really gonna be on something. Yeah, TV 10. Be on uh, Comcast Channel 10. And uh, it's on YouTube, WRNR TV. W. R N R. W R N R TV. Mm -hmm. And when will it come on there? Uh, it'll be on sometime this week. No. Probably. I so live PD is real. Like yeah. this is what you do for real. This for is real. Going back to the yep. over there. Yeah, I was actually talking to him and Luciano, or Luciano over there. Yeah, Luciano is not right Yeah, now. me and Luciano go way back. He's pretty cool. Yeah, go on. Go on back to the right now. I'm real, I'm real here. <laughs> I mean, I've got nothing criminal. I didn't, I didn't observe anything. Okay. And they were, it, was, it was verbal when I got here. I separated them and, and that was it. Alright. Breaking Bad tattoo? Mm -hmm. Is that a Breaking Bad tattoo? Oh. Or something like that with a chemical compound of meth. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Just hang out here, we're gonna wait for your ride, alright? Right there. I'm telling her to pull up a little bit more. They break her window too. <laughs> I don't know, they drove away. I said it twice. Two times. Is that right? Yeah, it's real. You came out of Jefferson. I know. I came out of Jefferson. I was just trying to help out. I heard a bat. I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we dealt with that kid on Center Street when his girlfriend basically killed him out. Is that right? Was, was that was that her? Was that his girlfriend at the time? No. No. Uh, she was. She was. She had a nice ass car. Uh, hey, she had two nice ass cars. Yeah, I just told her to start okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Apparently, he, he was dating that light skinned girl there. And apparently, that. Well, so I think that's so it's another, another with situation one. with a female. I guess what happened with the last yeah. one. Oh, was that her? Yeah. Yeah, that was her. See, that's, yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So he just goes from yeah. one girl to another. Word. All right, y'all, we're out of here. That was a good show. <laughs> Call came out. Fight with a, uh, a bat. We were in the area, so we decided to uh, go ahead and help out City. As you saw, we rolled up and there was people. Four thirty-four for a count. If I caught out there, I'm ten eight as well. I'll down kill you. Arguing with each other, being the only one unseen, I went ahead and grabbed one guy and uh, interviewed the rest. And then when everyone else got there, we were able to get everybody separated, talk to everybody, and figure out what was going on, and everybody went their separate ways. So nobody got hurt. It's another another win.